We have three reports tonight. Kayla Gaskins with rising cases in a local school system. Stephanie Harris has a milestone number in hospitalizations. But first, Andy Fox with what Governor Northam said today about the looming restriction rollbacks. Andy. Yeah, Tom and Anita, we met here with Governor Northam here in Newport News. He wouldn't go into details, but he said further restrictions are on the way. We'll take some measures uh, tomorrow to, to mitigate these numbers. Everything is on the table right now, and so I'll, I'll, be, I'll make these announcements tomorrow. Governor Ralph Northam said further restrictions are coming on public gatherings. When people gather in, in large groups uh, and don't keep their social distancing, uh, we know that's a problem as well. So. Uh, so we are going to take some measures to mitigate these numbers, and I'll, I'll announce that tomorrow afternoon. We asked him whether he will make it mandatory to wear masks. And let me ask you again, will you say tomorrow, Virginians, wear a mask for 100 days? I would say, uh, I won't say 100 days, but I'm going to tell Virginians to wear a mask. So you, you'll hear that tomorrow, yes. With a Virginia record 4,398 new cases, Northam said he's concerned about hospital capacity really bad in southwest Virginia. If we don't get these numbers down in the communities, we're going to have capacity issues uh, at our hospitals, and, and we don't want to be in that position. At Ivy Baptist Church, we found Devan Hamilton getting a flu shot. She says really important now during COVID-19. Because of COVID-19, we definitely all need to make sure that we're safe, we're healthy, and that we don't get the COVID virus. Northam says there's light at the end of the dark COVID-19 tunnel vaccinations and possible FDA approval. We are uh, anxiously awaiting uh, their uh, recommendations and you know we could start seeing this vaccination uh, being given to our, our public uh, as soon as Monday or Tuesday. So we're excited about that. And there is great hope tonight that that vaccine is the beginning of the end of the worst event in our history. In Newport News, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.